Hey guys, I know I promised you an update a while back, but let's just say I've come to a fork in the road. Or pretty much I guess you could say I came to a fuck in the road, if you want to say that. Yeah, I screwed up big time. Um, when I was trying to take some parts off of my custom Sally figure, I noticed that one side was very very tight and as hard as I tried to pull it which I shouldn't have I broke the peg off of this leg so these legs are shot now which were my spare my one and only spare Amy figure which is a pain in the ass now because if I want to get another Amy figure and try to create some new legs for Sally in this kind of way I would have to go out of my way on eBay or Amazon.com and purchase a single figure for about 50 bucks. 50 bucks for a 3 inch figure? Pass. Not gonna happen. So I went into my bag of goodies over here. Of spare Sonic figure pieces and stuff like that. Of figures that broke in the past. And I started pulling out some spare legs and Sonic was too tall. So then I went to the next thing which was Tails. And it happened to turn out that Tails legs were about just right. Because I did measure them up with Amy's legs and they are actually pretty much the same height. Even though they are not the same mass. Notice that Tails legs are about more thicker. Because he's a guy and guys have thicker legs I guess. Meanwhile, Amy's leg here is a lot thinner. So yeah, that's kind of unproportionate now. That kind of blows that Sally has... Some very, very thick legs. But then again, she had some thick arms in the very beginning because all they are is tails right here and Sonic right here, as you can see, as it is chipping. Chipping away. So we have some major problems going on right now. And speaking of which, another major problem is this isn't the perfect legs for this figure. As you can see, very very loose. I would have no idea on what I'm going to do about that, but I will continue my best as possible, if anything, as best as I can do. I will see what I can do about these legs. They are my only spare Tails leg figures. I don't have another Tails figure at the moment, and I'm not going to buy another one right now, so I'm just going to have to do with what I've got. Maybe some super glue might take care of this problem. Maybe painting them might thicken them up a little bit. Who knows? Only time will tell. I know this project is going to continue on until I get this done. I didn't come this far just to give up. And even at times, especially today, when I was like, this isn't worth it anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I may say things, but there are some things that I don't actually mean. I will continue to work on this project. I'm going to continue it today by simply taking off the boots and the gloves, and taking off the head, and repainting the whole entire body over again with a nicer, thicker coat. That way, it will hold a lot better. And then, I am going to use some Krylon clear coat, and I am going to create a seal for this body once and for all. Oh, she did have a le um, sorry, she did have a tail, but it broke off when I was trying to pull the legs off. So apparently that super glue idea wasn't working. What I can actually think of at the moment is um, let me just show you this. This is her thumbtacks, and I got a bunch of these thumbtacks for support to the legs when the figure can't stand on its own. Of course, everybody knows that if you've seen my uh, pictures on SonicGear.org. I was the first one to do this. Remember that and don't forget it. Anyway, um, what I was thinking is like maybe I could drill two holes. One in the tail and one in the back of her butt. Don't get any ideas, people. Do not leave comments. Um, I could pretty much take my Dremel tool and slice it. Slice off this stick here. Stick one side in the tail and stick the other in. Um you know, in her ass, I guess you can say, and then super glue it from there, and then maybe the tail's finally got something to hold on to for support. So that's as best as I can think of at the moment, but I might not use a thumbtack since it is pretty thin. I might use just a regular nail, who knows. So yeah, there's a lot more work to be done, and notice her glove just came off, so yeah, that kind of blows. 
I'm still working with her. Rest assured, the project's not dead. You will notice a little difference in the brown colors from her head to her uh, arms and what was the legs and yeah. She's changed a lot. If you've seen my image on SonicGear.org, you will notice that a lot has changed. I thin her out a lot more, give her more of a feminine look. And I colored her hair, made it darker, because she really doesn't have bright red hair. It's actually more darker, more like a maroon style, so yeah. I know this is a long update, and I'm going to end this right now. Just to let you guys know, the project's not dead. I am going to continue this, and like I said, I'm going to continue this as soon as this camera goes off. So, that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will answer them when I get a chance, and until we meet again, this is Redis Power Slash Sonic Ranger signing out. Thank you very much for watching, and wish me luck, guys, because I'm really going to need it from this point.